have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna meet, who you're gonna meet, who you're gonna meet. Hey there and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing my 5 a.m. morning routine. I'm going to share a little bit about what I do to get ready for myself and the kids every single morning and then I'm going to take you on a drive to work. If you're new to my channel, my name is Lauren Nicholson. I love to do all things home decorating, cooking, and cleaning. I also like to do a little mom motivation. So if you're into that type of thing, definitely hit the subscribe button and if you're returning, it's so great to see you. Okay, let's jump right into this morning. So I usually get up between 4.45 and 5 a.m. every morning and I love to start my day with a nice warm cup of coffee. We use, an, uh, um, I think it's called an espresso virtuo one. It's awesome. I'll link it down below, but you just put the little pot in and boom, got a nice cup of coffee going. But I'm going to get that going and then I'm also going to take a look at my weekly schedule. You guys know that I love doing meal planning, so I go ahead and I'll look at that and it'll give me a clear direction on what type of breakfast I'm making, what I should be prepping the kids for lunch, and what I'm going to make for myself for work. This really keeps me organized and so I don't have to think too hard at five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I love using bento boxes. I've definitely shown this to you guys over on my Instagram channel at Mrs. Lauren Nicholson. I do a lot of bento box preps in my stories. I don't know. I just think they're super fun, but today we're going to be having pasta. So I wanted to get this bento box out. I use two different brands. I'll link them down below. I love them. And then I use these silicone cups to kind of separate everything out. You definitely don't have to use these. I just love them. It makes everything a little more colorful and also keeps everything separated and clean. So for this, I want to get started with everything I know I'm going to be putting in their lunches I've already laid out. So I like to first put our little silicone cups in there and then I'll, after washing each of the either fruits or vegetables, I'll go ahead and put them in each of these little compartments. <laughs> I'd love to know down below if you currently are prepping lunches for small children. And if you do, what is your kind of go-to snacks? I love to do strawberries, raspberries, carrots, or like little, you can get these like little cheddar cubes or cheese just as a nice protein. We do a lot of pasta, soup sandwiches. I do quesadillas and burritos, but I'd love to get some new ideas and fresh ideas. So share with us down in the comments what you kind of have as your go-to for all your snacks for your kids' lunches. Since I had already made some pasta sauce the night before, I saved a little for my son's pasta, but the other kids just wanted it lightly buttered with a little bit of salt. I kind of try to make it as versatile and fun for the kids, but also give them food that they're actually going to eat. So if I ended up putting a meat sauce in here, I know that one of my children who doesn't care for meat wouldn't eat that. So I like to give them something healthy, but also make it a little bit customized to what they like. I'm just going to drizzle a little Parmesan cheese on all their pasta and that's it. I like to put the top right on this right away, but I did add raspberries, carrots, some cheese, some crackers, and some pasta. And then they also have some grab and go snacks that I'll add to their lunch box. That way for school, they have those for, um, they have a couple recesses, but this is basically what I do every morning. I'll take a little quick shot, share with you guys in case you're looking for some morning inspiration for lunch, post that up onto Instagram and get everything into their lunch bags.
Anytime I add something a little messy into their lunch, I like to give them a couple wet wipes. That way they can wipe up their mouth. And since I knew the pasta would probably, at least the red pasta and the raspberries would be a little bit messy, I decided to throw a couple of these little, um, these are just kind of like baby wipes, but I use them for the kids. So now that I have their lunches all packed up and ready to go, I'm gonna get the table set for breakfast. Sometimes I do this the night before, sometimes I don't. This particular day, I didn't have time to do it the night before, so I'm just gonna quickly set the table right now and get it nice and pretty for the kids to come down and enjoy breakfast. breakfast this morning I'm going to be making some pancakes and some fresh fruit. I'm adding strawberries and bananas to the table and I'll also put out some yogurt as soon as the kids get up so they can have a nice healthy balanced breakfast and then I usually make a smoothie. Most of the time the smoothie is for me but I do make it for the kids as well. I'll show you my favorite smoothie recipe here in a minute. I wanted to take a moment and thank Ritual for sponsoring today's video. It is never too late to start incorporating healthy habits into your routine. You guys know that I'm in this really amazing um, kind of health kick right now where I'm trying to eat things and ingest things that are very good for my brain and just long-term health. I've been using Ritual for a couple of years now. You guys know I talk about it on my channel all the time, but every single month they send me a box with a bag of the protein. I use the 18 plus vanilla and and they send me 30 vitamins, which I do the 18 plus essentials vitamins. What I love about this company is they also use only traceable ingredients like the, um, protein we're going to use today is a pea protein that's derived from peas grown in the U.S., which I just love that I know where it comes from. But one of the other things I really, really like about their protein um, powder is they kind of helps me stay full throughout the morning and I don't have a whole lot of time to sit down and eat. So it's really important to me that I have some good, healthy sustenance in my body. The Ritual Protein is formulated with a central choline that helps support brain health and fill dietary gaps in your day. But what I like also about the protein is it's soy-free, gluten-free, vegan-friendly, and formulated with non-GMO products, and there's also no sugar added. If you guys would like to check Ritual out and join me, you can head over to www.ritual.com slash LN20 and get 20% off your first month by using code LN20. I would love it if you do. If you already use Ritual, tell us down in the comments down below what you think about it. I love it and I would think you guys would just love it too. So definitely check it out if you're looking for a new vitamin routine. Ritual is your go-to. So for today's shake, I did some kale, a tropical fruit blend, and then a little bit of coconut water. I do the kids first, so I'll pour theirs out. So I have it already in their glasses. Then I put a little bit, um, I leave a little bit inside the blender. Then I put my protein in there because it's not meant for children. And then um, that's what I will have for breakfast. But now I've got everything on the table. I've got my smoothie going. I also have a couple pancakes that I need to finish up. And I'm starting to hear the kids upstairs. It's about 6 30 at this time and I want to get while they're eating I'm going to go ahead and get all their backpacks packed up clean them out if they didn't get cleaned out the night before I like to put their lunches fresh waters in there and any homework left over
So once I get everything lined up and ready to go, kids are eating, shoes are on, I can go upstairs and start getting ready. I wanted to show you guys our leprechaun traps that we did for St. Patrick's Day, which is now past, but I wanted to share them with you because I just thought they were so cute. The kids did such an amazing job, so creative and just... I was wowed. The leprechaun came through the house and made a mess of these, but it was really fun to do these with the kids and get super creative. I got most of this stuff at Michael's and it was just super fun, but I'm gonna head upstairs and start getting ready for work. I typically like to do my hair if I'm going to be heading into the office. Uh, otherwise, if I'm at home, I'll probably just throw it into a pony or something. But since I'm heading up to the winery today, I decided I want my hair to look nice and put a little makeup on. And I'm going to head into my bedroom and get dressed. Okay, so I'm totally dressed. I did um, this really cute kind of silk blouse I picked up from a boutique here in downtown Napa. I will link it down below. It's called Shop 12, but I love their stuff and I got the jeans there too. You guys have asked me about these jeans before and I just love them. And then shoes are from Vici. So just simple. I might throw a belt on. And then I also have, I was going to maybe do this really cute Zara sweater, but I think I'm going to save that for um, St. Patrick's Day. Here's how it comes together with my blazer. Yeah, I gotta get my watch downstairs, but just super casual, good business. Don't know what that is, but God, you guys, I need to clean my house. Anyway, that's for today's outfit, and let's get off to work. Okay, so I've got a couple snacks for the morning before my first meeting. We are about 8.30 right now, so I'm about ready to leave for work. I need to get all of this done, pick up the kids' homework. We're doing broccoli and chicken tonight. Jack has basketball, bedtime, and a bunch of stuff I need to focus on. I also have my weekly schedule as well. So I am going to pack all of this up. This is kids' stuff. This needs to come with me to work. Get all of this in my folder here. got my backpack got my water to drive I'm gonna take you guys with me up valley so you can see the pretty drive that I have to go to work and we're just gonna keep moving along this day Stay. 
thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope it gave you a little morning inspiration. If you're looking for some more of my mom hacks for AM and PM routines, definitely check some of the videos out on my channel. And if you're new, I would be so honored if you would subscribe and join me for some more cooking, decorating, cleaning, and AM, PM routines and motivation. If you're returning, thank you so much for watching another video and I'll see you in the next one real soon. Bye. Of all the magic places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you.